In the 11th century, an unprecedented series of conflicts erupted. These were the Crusades, a sequence of holy wars that would shape the medieval world. The spark was struck in 1095 when Pope Urban II delivered a rousing sermon at the Council of Clermont. His call to arms was both a plea and a battle cry that resonated through Christendom. To reclaim the Holy Land from Muslim control and offer aid to the Byzantine Empire, threatened by Seljuk Turks. But what drove thousands to journey across continents to fight? The reasons were many. Piety and the promise of absolution, the lure of land and wealth, and the quest for honor and adventure. The Seljuk Turks, once nomadic warriors, had swiftly risen to dominate the heart of the Islamic world, including the coveted city of Jerusalem. Their advance into Byzantine territory was an existential threat to the Christian Byzantines and a call to action for Europe's knights. Jerusalem, sacred to Christians, Jews, and Muslims, became the centerpiece of the crusading fervor. The city's fall to the Seljuks in 1071 was a blow felt across Christendom. Its recapture was painted not only as a divine mandate but as a heavenly ordained pilgrimage. The Byzantine emperor, Alexios I Komnenos, fearing the loss of his empire, appealed to the Pope for mercenaries. What he received instead was an outpouring of militant zeal. Pope Urban II saw an opportunity to unite a fractious Europe, mend the schism with the Eastern Church, and assert the Church's authority. Thus, the die was cast. Europe's knights, peasants, and nobles took up the cross, embarking on a perilous crusade. The journey would be fraught with hardship and bloodshed, a holy mission that promised salvation through warfare. Join us next time as we delve into the key battles of the Crusades, where faith and steel clashed, changing the course of history forever. This is History Bites, where history is served in sizes you can digest. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for our next historical feast.